As a temporary accommodation arrangement, many expats in Germany end up living as a subtenants. At the same time, many expats also choose to sublease their apartment when they move out for a temporary, let's say for three to four weeks or maybe for some months due to assignment or something. If you are coming from a country like India, subleasing you might have never heard or maybe it's a complete new concept. So in this video, I will explain you what is subletting, how to find sublets, legal aspects of sublets in Germany, what to mention in the sublet contract if you want to sublet your apartment, pros and cons, and some FAQs. So let's understand what is subletting. A sublet is a contract under which a tenant rents out their apartment or room to another individual but retains their status as a tenant. So if you are searching for a temporary arrangement when you come to Germany and you try to look for an accommodation then searching for sublets could be a good alternative. There are two types of sublets. One is Zwischenmeter and second one is Untermeter. When you are searching for the sublets, keep these two words in mind. Zwischenmeter is for temporary and Untermeter is kind of like permanent sublease. Nevertheless, both the options can be applied for the complete flat or flat sharing. But like everything else, subletting is also come with some sort of rules, regulations, restrictions and obligations. So in the coming portion of the video, we will understand those aspects also in details. How to find sublets? So like I mentioned, while searching on the internet sites, Keep in mind two words, the Zwischen meter and Untermeter. Here are some internet sites on which you can easily search and link to these websites can be found in the description box of this video. Now let's understand the legal aspects of subletting in Germany. First one is landlord's permission. Second one is deposit and rent. Third one is the contract termination. And the fourth one is damages and liabilities. So it's like landlord's permission might be the biggest uh, criteria which you need to fulfill. Because without landlord's permission, it is not possible to sublet the apartment. First of all, landlord should agree with you for subletting your apartment. To avoid later legal issues i will recommend you to make this in written form so that later you can avoid the legal consequences if you do it only on verbal commitment before you writing a contract for subletting your apartment you might need to write a consent letter which includes why you want to sublet your apartment start and end date of sublet and also the ID card of the person to who you are subletting your apartment. Now move on to the next one, deposit and rent. So the main tenant can ask only for the maximum three months of basic rent as a deposit. He or she is not able to ask more than that, that you have to keep in mind. And also, the subtenant has rights to pay the deposit amount in three installments. That is also one important aspect at the time of rent and deposits. Like main landlord, the main tenant also should keep the deposit amount in a separate bank account. If you keep the apartment good like you get, there are high chances that you get all of your deposit back. So the main tenant is not allowed to charge the rent what they pay to their main landlord. So let's say if I pay 1000 euros, so then I am not allowed to charge my subtenants more than 1000 euros. The main tenant has to show this income in annual tax return filing. Move on to the next is contract termination. So main tenant has to give minimum three months of 
advance notice for the termination now if the maintenance is terminated by the landlord so then in that case sub tenant also has to leave the apartment at the same time now let's move on to the next the damages and liabilities so whatever damages happens by your sublet then the main tenant is responsible for the damages so if you are planning to sublease your apartment make sure you include him or her in your liability insurance also don't forget that if your sub tenant is not able to pay the rent then in that case main tenant is responsible now let's understand the things you need to mention in the subletting contract though a written contract is not mandatory but still it is quite beneficial when you include all the parties and make that written contract as a draft don't forget to include your landlord and also your sub tenant so what you should mention in the draft names of the main tenant and the sub tenant the exact description of the apartment like address floor start and end date of the lease then the rent price additional charges like internet electricity maybe some heating costs which room may be used as sub lease how many keys were given and how much deposit is due also house rules like pet smoking parties etc which are applicable to the main tenant too if you search on internet unter miet vertrag then also you will find plenty of templates for the subletting nevertheless i have given a link in the description box you can also download from there so now moving forward let's understand some pros and cons of the subletting in germany let's go through first pros it helps to ensure that the landlord will receive the rent payments next one is maximizes the use of the rented premises and prevents space for being left vacant sub tenants could become reliable prime tenants it can also help the landlords who are struggling financially during the economic downturn now let's go through some cons The landlord has less control over the lease property because they aren't the party to the sublease. The la- the landlord must rely on prime tenant to ensure the terms of lease. Then comes the damages and cash flow and misinterpretation. Now we are at the last portion of the video. FAQs. Can I sublet my room to Airbnb? No, you cannot sublet your room to Airbnb or for tourist. That you have to keep in mind. Is sublet contract is necessary for relatives and visitors. Close family members and spouse do not need permission from your tenant. They can stay with you without the permission of the tenant. Does sub tenant have to register with the local authorities? Yes. a sub tenant is still legally required to register themselves with the local authorities at citizens office auslander behold whereas the proof of resident certificate can be fulfilled by the main tenant do i need a contract for sublet yes it's a vital document if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment box or you can dm me on instagram I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching till the end. See you until next time. Bye bye.